I recently had a birthday and one of the verses that I turned to for help in setting my direction for the year ahead, well, it's Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. It actually is a prayer, a prayer that Paul prayed for one of his congregations when he says, I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. He goes on to say, I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Let me just read that again, only this time from the New Living Translation. I pray that from his glorious, unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your heart, says you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide and how long, how high and how deep is his love. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to fully understand. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. That's a prayer that I need. I want Christ to make his home in my heart as I trust him. More today than yesterday, and even more tomorrow. I want to be rooted and kept strong in God's love for me, not swept by doubt or blown over by discouragement that can come along and simply by trying to do better on my own. Eugene Peterson reminds us that it is in Christ that we find out who we are and what we're living for. Our growth in faith is not automatic, it's cultivated. And it's not a dream, it's actually a discipline. But most of all, it's not to be endured. It's to be enjoyed. So this year, I'm praying right along with Paul that you and I will invite Christ to, well, to make his home in our hearts as we trust him. And that our roots will grow down into God's love and keep us strong. We enjoy your company, so let us know if there's anything we can pray with you about. I'm Craig Rumble. Thank you for being together with Markham Baptist Church.